Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be uh, doing some data logging so we can send our files over to Sean over at Hemi Fever Tuning. All right, guys, so welcome back. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna plug in your Trinity 2 into your OBD port, which is located down there. Uh, from there, you're gonna wanna set up your gauges. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all that uh, necessarily right away. Uh, that'll be another video on uh, how to set up your gauges because it, it takes a while. There's, there's a lot that you gotta go through and try to find uh, because Sean sets up, uh, he wants you to monitor certain uh, parameters, which are all these parameters right here that I have set up so he can monitor how the truck is running. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is he wants us to just go out and drive the truck for 10 minutes. Okay, just just regular driving for 10 minutes. Um, and then uh, after that, he wants you to do a good hard pull from zero to 70. Uh, so we're going to do that and then you save the logging and send it to them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of my driveway and everything and I will catch you guys on the flip side once I get out on the road and we will start our data logging. Okay guys, so basically right away what we're going to do is we're going to pull down right here. You're going to see the little record button. We're going to tap on that. Okay, and now we are actually recording. I'm going to drive around for 10 minutes. So I'm going to end this video or I'm going to basically turn y'all guys off for a second, set a timer for 10 minutes, drive around, and then I'll come back, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, now we're going to drive somewhere where we can do a nice, safe 0 to 70 pull. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't try to do it earlier. There was actually a cop sitting on the side of the road. And <laughs> I mean, with me being in law enforcement, I probably could have got out of it, but still, I mean, it's, you know... You're breaking the law. I mean, you know, you, the speed limit's, you know, 40, and you're going 70. I mean, come on. How do, how do you explain that to a cop? Oh, I'm just doing some data logging here, trying to get my you know, truck faster. I mean, <laughs> you really want to tell a cop that? I mean, come on. Uh, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to go somewhere where it's safe to do a 0 to 70 pool, so, uh, which is fine. I mean, I'm still recording uh, on the on the Trinity 2, so Sean's getting some good data, some good stop and go, stop and go, you know, just normal driving, uh, which is what he wants to see. He wants to see how the truck is acting so he can modify the tune. So I'm trying to do the best I can to get him the information he wants so we can make this truck run even better. So uh, let me get to a uh, an area where we're going to do this, and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, so here's where we're going to do it. Uh, we're at the airport. This is a private road, so we're going to swing around here. Uh, there were some dogs in the road over here. I'm hoping they stay out of the way. Um, so I might have to end this uh, because I ain't going to hit no dog over this, so hopefully they stay out of the way. All right, zero to 70. Here we go. so uh, we can uh, save the recording so give me just a second guys all right so what you want to do is you want to pull down oh not over come on we're gonna pull down and we're gonna stop the recording okay would you like to save yes okay and we're just going to uh, We'll save it. We'll save it as that. Why not? But you can rename it there. But I mean, I'm still on the road, and I just want to make sure this thing saves okay. Um, don't have time to sit there and rename it. All that good stuff. Because 
we got to still be driving here. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how you do a data log, guys. Um, so yeah, we, we drove around. We got as much data as we could. I figured today was a good day to do it. I mean, the roads were dry. It's not rainy. It's a nice day. The temperature outside is actually, it's 46. So uh, the truck would be getting some nice cold air. So yeah. Uh, so we'll send this file over to Sean. Uh, I'm not going to show how to do that. I mean, I pretty much showed you guys already in the last video how you send your files over to them. You, uh, you just pull the files off your tuner. Uh, well, actually, I didn't show you guys how to pull the files off the tuner. So, so yeah, let me get home. Let me get on the laptop, and I'll show you guys how to get your files and send them over to Sean. Okay guys, welcome back. So first thing you're gonna need is of course you're gonna need a laptop. You're gonna need your Trinity 2 tuner. Uh, you do not need the OBD2 port for this, okay? So we're gonna set that aside. What you're gonna need is this cable here. It comes with the Trinity 2, okay? It's for your, uh, it's basically your updating cable, okay? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Okay, once you plug that in, you'll go ahead and plug your Trinity 2 in. And then as you can see, it's it's booting up. So you just wait on that to boot up. And wait on your computer to, to see it. Okay, so now we can come to our browser. Uh, not your web browser, but your actual computer browser itself. You're gonna see right here the T2. You're gonna open the T2 under logs. There's the log that we just did. That's our first data log. Uh, I'm going to actually take this log. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come right here to my desktop. I have a folder already created. I'm going to go to my logs, my log number one, and I'm going to paste that right there. So I have a copy of it now on my desktop. Okay. Now with that said and done, we can go ahead and, um, unplug our tuner from the computer. Uh, what I like to do is actually come right here and actually do a, uh, a um, eject so you can safely remove the tuner. Shoot. It's just better to do it that way, guys. Uh, that way there's no data loss between the computer and the tuner, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up your email, do whatever. I already basically have mine set already to Sean. Uh, it just says, uh, Sean, it's asked as my first data log for tuning revision. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and come to the little attach. Okay, I'm going to go to my tuning folder. I'm going to go to my logs, my log number one right there. We're going to open that and let it attach to the email. Just like that, it is now attached. Go ahead and put my name down here so he knows who I am, which I have uh, I have all our other uh, emails tagged in this email, so he'll, he'll know who I am. And then from there, we're just gonna hit send. And that's it, guys. We just sent our first data log over to Sean. Uh, let me clean this up and then we will do a conclusion. Okay guys, so conclusion, uh, sorry that we rushed through that. I mean, there's there's just a lot of steps and I'm gonna have to break it down into a few videos for you guys about how to customize your gauges uh, to record the parameters that Sean wants recorded for the custom tuning. Um, however, uh, for anybody out there that's interested in tuning your vehicle, I highly recommend it. Uh, yes, it will probably void your factory warranty. Uh, go back and watch my previous videos, we, we talk a little bit about it. Uh, I plan in the future to make another video um, just over warranty in general. Um, but this is mostly tuning. So we're, we're gonna stick to just the tuning area right now, okay? But I mean, right away, y'all can see that zero to 75 pool. I mean, there's so much torque in this bad boy that the back tires couldn't even catch traction. And that was with traction control on. I didn't even turn traction control off. Um, and then Sean's going to revise it and make it even better. So uh, I'm definitely thinking about getting um, wider tires, possibly for the back. Not too wide. 
you know, because I don't want them to stick out and be ugly, but a little bit wider. Because, I mean, on most sports vehicles, you have the wider tires in the back anyway, right? Uh, but anyway, if yeah. you guys interested, you're going to need a Trendy 2 tuner um, and an unlocked PCM. Okay, that's the only way around it. Uh, now, they do offer the Pulsar. Uh, we talked a little bit about that. It's just a piggyback system that hooks up to your factory PCM. Um, however, it will not eliminate your rev limiter. It will not eliminate your speed limiter. Okay, um, it does give you a little bit of extra horsepower. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what it does as far as fuel economy goes. Uh, every video I've watched on it, they say that it really didn't give them that much fuel economy, but uh, I have seen it put on a dyno and it did give a little bit of extra horsepower, but not as much as complete tuning will do. Complete tuning will blow this thing out of the water, okay? Um, I mean, I don't know really what else to say about it. Um, I want to make this video just real short, sweet, to the point. Okay, um, Hemi Fever tuning is the way to go. Uh, now I'm not I'm not just saying Hemi Fever tuning. I mean you have other tuners out there. I know there's HP tuners. There's uh, Jay Dre Green Racing. Uh, a lot of Dodge people also run him. Uh, I am just very impressed with Sean over at Hemi Fever. Uh, my local shop around here, Mo's Performance. You guys have probably heard of him, Matt Peacock. He's uh, I mean, his TRX just ran a 9.99 quarter mile. Uh, and then, uh, sorry about that, I'm waiting on this car to go by so you guys can hear me, you know. But uh, yeah, Matt is known in the Dodge Ram. Uh, I keep saying Dodge. I'm so used to saying Dodge Ram, even though Ram it's now it's now its own self, right? So uh, Matt is known in the Ram community. I mean, he has got the fastest. Uh, one of the fastest fourth gen Rams in the world. Uh, he's also now has the uh, first TRX to run a nine in a quarter mile. Uh, so yeah, I, I put all my faith in Matt when it comes to this truck. I mean, and he, he's been real good with me every time I've called, or not called, I'm sorry. Uh, every time I have messaged him, he's always gotten back with me. Uh, really great customer service and then like i say he's local so anything i need i can just drive right to him uh, i did get my tuner and my unlock pcm through most performance uh, and most performance goes through diablo so you're getting it directly from diablo okay but i ordered it through another performance shop okay uh, doing it that route i actually saved a little bit of money uh, plus he offered the hemi fever tuning because they use sean for all their uh, custom trucks uh, so anyways, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will do my best to try to answer them for you guys. Um, stay tuned. Future videos, I will uh, hook up the Trinity 2. I will show you how to uh, adjust your gauges and, and do all that. I mean, if I would have showed you how to do all that in this video, this video would have been another hour, two hour long video. Uh, and then I did also buy, I showed it to you uh, a couple of videos ago. I bought the mount for this. Uh, it does come with a, a window mount, but I didn't, I don't care for the little suction cup window mounts because, you know, eventually they fall. Uh, so I got one that actually connects to the A-pillar. Um, we will eventually be hook, hooking that up. I, I was going to hook it up to do the data logging, but I told myself, no, um, because honestly, I don't want to leave the tuner in the truck. Uh, to me, yes, they look nice sitting there and everything, but I mean, it's, it's eye candy for thieves. And we've had a lot of break-ins around here. I mean, it doesn't take much for a car to, you know, to come over, see that tuner, break into your vehicle, grab that son of a gun, and take off running. I mean, even though the tuner is married to my truck and will not work on any other truck, criminals are dumb. They don't know that. They just see, you know, some fancy piece of equipment that's worth some money, and they're, they're going to take it. I mean, they're getting under vehicles and cutting off Cadillac converters. I mean, it's just... It, the world is it's getting crazy out there. So I'm not going to leave something valuable in my vehicle to give them the option to steal in the first place. Okay. So anytime I'm out of the truck, the tuner is out of the truck. Okay. Uh, you do not need this tuner plugged in or anything like that for your tune to run. Okay. The truck will run the tune without the tuner. You just need the tuner to install the tune and do all the data monitoring and 
logging and stuff like that, okay? Uh, all right, guys, I've rambled enough. Uh, like I said before, any questions, leave them in the comment down below. I want to throw a shout out to Diablo Sports. You guys rock. Thank you all very much for the on my PCM, Trinity 2. Uh, however, uh, they did not send it to me free. I mean, let me just go ahead and say that. I'm saying thank you for them for finding out a way how to unlock these PCMs and make all this possible for all these newer ramps, okay? Uh, shout out to Mopar, hey. Mopar, no car, that's right, guys. All right, y'all take care. We'll see y'all next time.